well guys let me talk to you about dummy variable trap today so when you talk about dummy variables dummy variables are used to capture the attributes or the characteristics of some variables that we use it you know the regression and analysis so let's take for example suppose say we have a dummy variable say sex or gender with two attributes that is male and female remember two attributes only two attributes or characteristics that is male and female and i say suppose like uh to fit into a multiple regression model i'm saying like what wages are a function of sex or gender or in literal meaning or whether or the gender affects the wage that the people do earn or not so that is what i'm literally saying or wages are being whether the wages are being affected by the type of gender or male or females so if you model this into a multiple regression model so wages this rupees sex is supposed to say d1 sex is supposed to say d2 see now look into this very carefully so i have used one dummy variable that is d1 that is one for male and zero for female and the second dummy variable that is d2 is equal to zero for male and one for female now not that we are using d1 and d2 for two dummy variables male and female separ separately but i'm talking about only two attributes remember that if we have only two attributes okay but you are still using d1 and d2 separately to identify these dummy variables that means male and female or this Two characteristics or the two attributes so what would our multiple regression equation look like so that is which w is equal is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 d1 so that is for this d1 will signify this and beta 2 d2 and d2 will signify this so if you look at your data if your data is like this if you look data is like this from the samples that you collect from the individuals and the wages that they are earning the amount of wages that they are earning and suppose it and this is the type of sex or gender now accordingly for the first sample suppose he is a male and accordingly for d1 for d1 male we know d1 is equal to 1 for male so i have put it 1 here now accordingly for female what for the second sample for female i put 0 the value of the dummy variable was is supposed to be 0 so I put it 0 here. So in this way I have entered for D1 looking in, taking it into account of this not notations that is 1 and 0 for all these different samples. Now again suppose it takes uh, take for example that is for D2. Now if it is for D2 it is just the opposite. Suppose 0 is for male and 1 is for female. So if we do that accordingly for the first sample it is male right. It is male. So according to the D2 according to d2 what we have to do is male is 0 so i have put it 0 here now for the second sample again for the female it is for d2 right d2 so 1 is for female so i put female is equal to 1 here so in this way all these data are being inserted so finally what do we find is now these two created dummy variables that is d1 and d2 we since we have created two dummy variables d1 and d2 if we create two dumb, dummy variables only with just two attributes that is male and female so what will happen to those dummy variables now you can see look into this carefully d1 plus d2 will be equal to 1 or you can go into this relationship d1 plus d2 will be equal to 1 or d1 will be equal to 1 minus d2 or d2 will be equal to 1 minus d1 now if you recollect your multicollinearity problem so if we are having some kind of relationship between the two successive two explanatory variables or if we have some kind of relationship between this so that's why i have put it x1 and x2 okay look into it so if i if there is some kind of relationship between this d1 and d2 or say for example x1 and x2 we know that we are having the problem of we have the problem of multicollinearity right so therefore we know 
if we have the problem of multicollinearity we cannot estimate the parameters or variance of the estimators will be very very large so it is no use in going for analysis uh, analyzing by taking into such kind of dummy variables or including some uh, this kind of dummy variables if we are having only two attributes and you are taking say for example two dummy variables so ultimately this will be called as the dummy variable trap in a, uh, if you are talking about uh, uh, the simple multiple regression model x1 d1 and d2 is related we call it multicollinearity but if you are talking about dummy variables we call it the dummy variable trap actually so what we have to do is if we have n number of dummy variables we have to include only my n minus one number of dummy variables into our regression model so this n will speak like what n will be talking about your attributes so if you have two attributes you have to include only one dummy variable if you have three attributes you have to include only two dummy variables so just uh, giving you an idea again about this so here since we have only two attributes okay male and female we were supposed to include only one dummy variable that is d1 and d2 d dummy variable itself will capture this two attribute two attributes dummy variable one itself will capture both the attributes now we are including d2 so ultimately what happens is d1 and d2 will be related to each other and then you will ultimately face the problem of multicollinearity and that is also called as the dummy variable trap so if you have three dummy variables you will include two dummy variables if you have two dummy variables you will or two attributes you will have to include one dummy variable if you have four attributes you will have to include three dummy variables in this way it should always be minus one okay fine that's all for today thank you